proof is another example of a case in which you can use one of the equidistance theorems to avoid having to use a detour proof. Um, again, look for situations where it appears that you have a segment that has a perpendicular bisector. Um, you have kind of a T-shape, and actually you can see in this case I was given a perpendicular bisector. Um, the thing that I suggest you do first is highlight the segment that's being bisected. And then meanwhile you have a perpendicular bisector cutting down in the other direction. So this is doing bisecting cutting down through here. Uh, the important thing to keep in mind is any time you have a perpendicular bisector, you know that any point that lies on that perpendicular bisector is equidistant from the endpoints of that segment. And so you can literally follow along the perpendicular bisector, and you can pick any point anywhere you want to, and you know that it's going to be equidistant from the endpoints of that segment. It's going to give you all kinds of congruent parts, uh, and in general, it's going to make for some pretty easy and fast proofs uh, that really avoid having to use detours. So notice here, uh, I can basically just look along this perpendicular bisector. Anytime there's a point, I know it's equidistant from the endpoints of that segment. Uh, D is going to be equidistant from the endpoints of segment BC. Um, I'm not going to use that because I'm trying to prove these two triangles congruent and those are the two upper triangles, but if I needed that fact, I could use it. Uh, more importantly, I know that point E also on that perpendicular bisector is equidistant from the endpoints of BC. That's the same thing as saying that BE is congruent to EC. So if a point lies on the perpendicular bisector of a segment, then it is equidistant from the endpoints of that segment. here, but get the basic idea there. Um, I get exactly the same thing. If you continue following along this perpendicular bisector, point A is also on the perpendicular bisector. It'll be equidistant from the endpoints of that segment. Uh, so we also know that AB is going to be congruent to AC for exactly the same reason. And you'll notice now I am one step from being able to prove these two triangles congruent. Uh, I just need to say that AE is congruent to AE because of the reflexive property. And I'm done. Uh, triangle ABE is congruent to triangle ACE, uh, and that's just by the side, side, side rule. So again, can be very quick. Just look along that perpendicular bisector any point along that perpendicular bisector is going to be equidistant from the endpoints of the segment. And that can give you some congruent parts that make proving triangles congruent very quick and very easy.